Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to do my first reaction to a subscriber's request in well over six months. This request comes from my man Bob, Bob Murphy. Uh, the absolute legend s sent me a, a letter five pages long with the most beautiful handwriting I've ever seen. Now, uh, he is a, he's from Ohio, uh, he loves Ohio State, and he loves marching bands. The letter and the gift was associated with Marshall University, and he explained the story to me uh, of, of what this, this DVD is based on, and it's a true story, and it's about the Marshall University football team that was um, coming home on a, a, a return flight from an away game at uh, Carolina, I believe. And uh, before he actually went on to tell me the details of the story, I was quite excited because he mentioned a team that I had a, uh, a t-shirt from, East Carolina Pirates. So anyway, the, the Marshall University team were, were playing away and uh, on the return flight home, the flight crashed and killed all on board, 75 people, including the entire team, the, the entire football team. Um, and from what I'm led to believe, this movie is all about how the team and the town, you know, regrouped after that tragedy and became, you know, one of the most winningest sides uh, in college football history from the mid 80s onwards. So an amazing story and an absolutely amazing letter uh, from my man Bob. Now, with all that being said, we're not actually going to react to anything to do with Marshall University. We're not going to react to anything to do with the East Carolina Pirates. Um, we're going to react to the marching band, the best damn marching band in the land. We've got one clip here that Bob has um, specifically requested I have a look at. Um, he says, I honour the memory, sorry, though I grew up in mid Though I grew up in Mid-America Conference Territory, and I honour the memory of that Marshall team, I'm not a son of Marshall. I'm a Buckeye. And since you've started to watch marching bands videos, you really need to see the Ohio State University Marching Band, the best damn band in the land. Not only are they the largest all brass and percussion marching band in the world, for more than a century they have been the innovators of almost every major advancement in the state of the art of marching bands. If it weren't for the, if it weren't for T B D B I T L, pronounced T Biddle, the best damn, the best damn band in the land, T Biddle, high school and college marching bands would not be what they are today. So please watch and react to the video, OSU vs Minnesota, Back to the Future pre-game and halftime. It includes the traditional pre-game show, and one of the animated halftime shows for which they have become world famous. It's a few minutes longer than normal because of a salute to the band's graduating members and 50th birthday honours to the school's mascot, Brutus Buckeye. But it's one of the better shows they have marched. Thanks, mate. Bob Murphy. Well, Bob, it's about six months late. But I want to say it would be my absolute pleasure to watch the best damn marching band in the land, T. Biddle. And I hope you enjoy. So I'm going to roll the intro and see you back here in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... So here we are. Ohio State University versus Minnesota, November 7th, 2015. Let's, sta let's, let's stage the scene. Okay, let's stage it. Pre-game. Big game. 50th anniversary of the mascot. And with that being said, I've got one other thing to put on which is my Buckeye necklace. <laughs> Watch I don't freaking knock my tooth out, which looks like it might actually be possible with one of these. All right, guys. Oh, fuck. There's one thing that they told me not to do. Do not put these Buckeyes in your mouth because they're poisonous. And what do I do? I put it in my mouth. All right, guys. So, Bob, with all that being said, I want to say enjoy. Let's sit back, relax. And watch OSU vs Minnesota Back to the Future pre game and halftime. The best damn band in the land. 
Now I want to see no mistakes. Not one. <laughs> oh. oh, they're banging off the left. Looks like a rugby backline. like an army isn't it someone told me they spend 20 to 30 hours per week practicing and I'm not surprised What are they going to do? They're going to make something. Create some sort of pattern. Now, I just quickly want to mention in the vid in the um, the lesser Bob said uh, because you've started reacting to marching bands. Now, a lot of you guys may not may never have even seen me react to a marching band, but back in January when Bob wrote this letter, I had just started delving into the world of marching bands, halftime marching bands, college football as a whole, um, and you know what? This might be the start of me going back into college football because it's been all NFL for a while. Anyways, let's continue. It's Brutus Buckeye. I assume. High stepping. Holy shit. No, that, that's not Brutus Buckeye. That's the conductor. So this is the band. What do we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. What's, uh, well 10 16's is uh, 100 and, 192? 192? I hope that's right. 192 people. Plus one at the front. Short, sharp steps, aren't they? When are they going to turn? They're going to split in the middle and turn to the... No, they're not. <laughs> Here he comes again. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Bob. 
Bob, I still... I still hadn't opened this. Because it was in a plastic packet. I've literally knocked it with my foot, opened this, and now I've opened the DVD finally. Six months later. And lo and behold, there's something else in here. Bob. Extras. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Extras after watching this movie. Okay, we've got Remembering Marshall, 30 years later, an ESPN documentary. Nate Ruffin, a letter to his teammates. Now, Nate must be someone from this movie. The NFL, a bad lip reading. More NFL, a bad lip reading. Fuck, man. Thank you, man. Look at this guy. He's put it together for me. All these extras. All .mp4 format. And he, he, uh, he said it wasn't easy getting all of these clips. Or this DVD in an Australian DVD format. So, fuck, man. I cannot wait to watch this, watch this movie. I cannot wait. I can't wait to feel bloody inspired and, and pff, all the feels, all the feels. I'm sure I'm gonna. Anyways, this video is about the marching band, the best damn marching band in the land. W? Looks like Washington. Right, so that's the No, they're still in formation. <laughs> okay, all I can think of when I watch this is playing Snake on my old Nokia 2280, my old brick phone at high school. <sighs> we all got pretty good at Snake. So they can do curves as well as straight edges. Are they going to spell Ohio? Who's going to dot the I? That is the question. Let's see how they do this. 192 marching band members. How's he going to get out of this? On snake, if you get yourself stuck like this, it's never good. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. He's going to go straight through. Well, you can't do that on snake. <laughs> I don't know how these guys are doing it either. I can see. Yep, they come up and they put their they put their um, instrument down as they cross and then it comes back up. We've got the O. We're getting the H. Look, the conductor's going through. He's passing a big trombone, a little trumpet. Yep, straight through. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, what? That's how they do it. This little crossing here must be very, very congested right now. There's the eye.
I feel bad for, I feel bad for these guys and I feel bad for these guys because they're not moving anymore and these guys oh look at that nearly done Was that perfect? Yes, it was. That is a monstrous instrument, isn't it? Wonder how much it weighs. Is that a tuba? <laughs> Let me see. Uh, tuba, marching band tuba. There it is, marching band tuba. Wait. 13.6 kilo. A trumpet weighs about 1.3 kgs, but a tuba weighs a whopping 13.6 kilograms. It's so heavy that tubas hold them across their laps while playing them. In marching bands, a specifically designed tuba called a salsaphone is used. Salsaphone weight. 30 to 35 pounds. I'm surprised he didn't let it go when he goes like this. <laughs> i got to say, guys, I am a big Ohio State fan. I am. I love them. I don't know why. I think they, they really did try and take me in as their own early on, more so than any other college. I love the logo too. Red's probably my favorite color. How are they going to get off the field? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Looks like the formation of the tectonic plates. Start Ohio State University. Whoops. <laughs> marching band Ohio Ohio Are they naming every single person? That's pretty cool, man. Can't be everybody because they're already going through the the letters of the alphabet. Who were they? Okay, it's their final season in Ohio State. Last year. Now 
Well done, boys and girls. Carmen, Ohio? Who's Carmen, Ohio? Ah, it's a song. Sorry guys, I don't know the words. Tectonic plates are in action again. Oh, what do we got here? Geometric shape. this who's this coming out coaching staff Cheerleaders. Give us a closer look. Oh, oh, we've got the players coming. This is what we like. Go boys. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go boys. There's got to be at least 50 players there. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 50, 1, 4, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, 9, 6, 4, 7, 4, 8, 4, there's 75 kitted up guys there. 
insane. Are there guys on a football team that don't get one minute of playing time throughout the year? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope not. Who's this? Oh, Minnesota it must be. Is that meant to be the US flag or something? Sorry, I'm not from the States. But there'll be no kneeling on my behalf. Yep, it must be a flag. Look at that, it's a waving flag. Now wave back the other way. USA. <laughs> oh, this must be half time. Back to the future. Attention! I'm not a huge Back to the Future uh, fan. I actually don't think I've ever watched the movies. Beautiful. Who designs these? Is this a car? Yes. <laughs> I knew a car was going to come into it. Now let's see if you can make it fly. Well, Sparks is, is something.
Not completely sure what that's meant to be. Guitar. I'm looking at that conductor. Bet you can't catch that behind your back. What have we got here? We've got a man playing a guitar. And he's doing the splits. <laughs> no, he's just dancing. And again. <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Look, even the arm's going up and down. I didn't notice that. They're literally a dancing guitarist. Unbelievable. It's got to be at least 50 yards across. Oh, he's going to go on a skateboard now. That's impressive, man. Now spin, spin the, spin the wheels whilst you're going along. Now that would be impressive. That's pretty cool. The conductor's really the star of the show, isn't it? What? Did you guys just see that? He just used a stick, or his marching stick, whatever you want to call it, as a yo-yo. He literally spun it, it bounced off the ground, came back to his hand. Watch this shit. No, not this one. Watch this. Oh! <laughs> and watch this one. It's going to go up 50 feet in the air. The hand-eye coordination of that guy must be absolutely immense.
What's happening here? Space Invaders? No, nope, the car's back. It's going for another... No, nope, he's going backwards. No, nope, he's flying now. The wheels are up. And let's go. Any sparks? Got to be, got to be some sparks, surely. <laughs> Lightning, sparks, same thing. And that was the story of Back to the Future, as told by T. Biddle. Look at the frickin' stadium. The nosebleed section. What's this? Oh, it looks like a person or a cake. Oh, it's a birthday cake. Lego. Who's coming? <laughs> I'm looking at this guy up here. Oh yeah, that's him there. <laughs> I'll let you guys sing. <laughs> That's one big buckeye. And that's one epic football stadium. I want to watch from up there. They went to London? Really? The NFL marching... Okay, so they played, um, hang on, 
I'm going to have to find this out now. Okay, so the Jaguars won over the Bills at Wembley in 2015, and the Ohio State Marching Band were the, pre were the, the pre game show. They chose the Ohio State Marching Band to represent the whole entire NFL in another country. That's huge. That's epic. Maybe they really are the best damn band in the land. But I'm going to let you guys fight that out in the comments section. All right, guys. My man, Bob. Every other person who loves marching bands, every other person who loves Ohio State, I want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. If you have enjoyed it, if I've made you smile, I've made you laugh, if I've entertained you in any way, because that's what this is, man. This is entertainment. This is me showing respect to my subscribers who've been nice enough to show me something, but it's, it's entertainment. And it's entertainment for me because I'm really interested in this. I love football. I do. And I'm a newbie. So you can expect plenty more videos like this to come. Apparently I've got a Ravens uh, subscriber starter pack coming, which I haven't had before. Uh, I love the color purple. And uh, I'm assuming I'm going to do a couple of reactions, most likely to our old mate, Ray Lewis. But we'll find all that out. In the meantime, guys, have a fantastic day. That was the best damn marching band in the land. For my mate from Ohio, Mr. Bob Murphy. Fantastic night. Peace out, everybody.